back to my channel to everybody because I've been gone for a really long time. So welcome back. Thank you for sticking around. A lot of you requested a little life update. So I'm gonna do that first before we get into the makeup. I am all moved in to my beautiful new house. It's so nice. And I gotta say thank you to a fellow makeup artist, Jessie Voss, cause this was her hookup. Thank you, you're amazing. It feels so good to be all moved in. I'm not totally packed. I haven't done my closet. I've been avoiding doing my closet. I don't wanna put all my clothes away. Today is Friday, it's Friday night, so in Two sleeps. I fly out to LA for two weeks. <laughs> so excited. Thank you guys so much for getting me into the top six. I'm fucking. I. Psh, huh, oh, I can't. I can't even believe it. So pumped. I didn't think I was gonna get a chance to film before I left, but I busted my ass and got all this shit set up so I could film something before I left. I don't have Wi-Fi yet, so I'm not sure when this is actually gonna be on the internet. Hopefully soon. I mean, I could go sit at the coffee shop and do that. Maybe I will. We'll see, we'll see how I feel. I decided to just sit down tonight, Friday night, drink some beers, put on some super extra makeup. These beers were actually left in my fridge by a very nice boy who said that a gentleman leaves breakfast beers for the lady. Girl! Girl. You guys need to calm down. I don't have a boyfriend. You would be the first to know. You probably know before he did. <laughs> Anyways, enough rambling. Let's get in to this extra ass makeup tutorial. Wait one second. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's finally get to it. I'm going to use a whole bunch of milk makeup today because you guys request me to quite often and I almost have enough to do a full face. Not quite. First, I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. This product is hella good. Fills in them pores, makes your makeup look flawless. And it smells really good. It has like a, a hint of citrus. I love this backdrop. Next up, I have the Milk Makeup Blur Matte Foundation. I grabbed the shade Golden Light and I think it's gonna be damn near perfect. I love the packaging. They advertise it as no drip, which is amazing. Oh, it's so nice and easy to apply. I love it. One thing I did not buy was Milk Makeup's new silicone sponge. Though it is tempting because it has glitter in it. I'm just not down with the Scylla sponge life. Okay, first impression on this foundation. It's really yellow, which is good because I do have a very yellow undertone. A little bit goes a long way. Like that just blended out all over my whole entire cheek. Please forgive all the meowing. Ben is still a little bit pissed at me. We're moving him. Understandable. Foundation is a really nice full coverage. And for being a matte foundation, it's not clinging. I mean, it is a tiny bit, but it's not clinging to my dry spots like crazy. Like you can't, you can't tell. I can if I look hella, hella close. I don't know if it's my light. When I look in the viewfinder, it looks incredibly yellow, but it is a pretty damn good match. Even the foundation smells good. It feels nice. It seems to be kind of drying down. I think I like this foundation. I also got the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. I got the shade Light. And I know I'm gonna want it lighter because I do like to highlight, but we're gonna we're gonna see anyway. That is too dark for my liking, but the formula feels bomb. Nice and full coverage. I can go back in and highlight after. The formula is so nice, it's so nice. 
does seem to be oxidizing a tiny bit. If that was just a couple shades lighter, I would be on board. To toss on some highlights, I am gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral. My little wand has a dent in the middle and it just made like cute little, cute little dots. Just a little bit, not too much. And then before I go in and set anything with powder, I also got the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in the shade Baked. I've been wanting to try this for a really long time. It was super, super melted when I got it in the mail and it was covered in sort of like oil. So I'm not sure if mine's gonna be, maybe kind of dried out. Oh my God, look at the color. It's so good. Let's see how it blends out. <sighs> like effortlessly. Okay, milk makeup. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D concealer brush. And contour my nose. You guys, I can't. This color, this color. I'm in love with this bronzer. I can just tell too that if you wanted a more extreme contour, you could probably build this no problem. In fact, let's try it. I'm gonna grab some right on my brush. Girl! I've always been so intrigued by Milk Makeup products because they're kind of out here doing something a little bit different. But I was always a little bit hesitant because it's so damn expensive. But I regret to inform you that I think it might be worth the price. I'm very sorry to all of your wallets. And no, this is not sponsored by Milk Makeup. Or beer. Can you imagine if I was sponsored by beer? Can we make that happen? Can that be my goal for 2018? <laughs> I feel like this is one of those products that you do not want to leave your lips off. Now I'm going to cover my face in powder. This one, the RCMA one. And I'm just gonna use my damp beauty blender to stick it on there. I'm gonna bake under that contour a little bit. Lots of powder on my mustache, because your girl gets some mustache sweat. Also going to bake the sides of my nose a little bit. And down the center. Almost forgot about my poor little eyelids. All this extra powder left in my hand. I can't let it go to waste. All right, guys, what's next? Probably the eyebrows. Okay, I'm about to zoom y'all in on my eyebrows. They are crazy. I think I like it, but I'm not sure. I need you guys to be really honest with me. To pluck or not to pluck? Hi. I am finally going to play with the Inglot Beauty Chameleon Palette by my girl Crystal. So proud. It is goddamn beautiful. I'm not gonna do pink brows today. I'm gonna do taupe brows. I'm gonna go in with my Pony Cosmetics brow brush. Ben! What? I'm trying to make a tutorial. Ooh, that's a nice brow shade. Oh, I think that would be a really nice contour shade. I'm 
my brows are so insanely grown in that I just, just put in a little bit of shadow and uh, I just let them be themselves. <laughs> These brows have been pretty low maintenance. I just fill them in with a little bit of powder following their natural shape. And I can never decide whether they look just like gross and unkept or like bushy and natural. Should I leave them in their natural state or should I destroy them? Next, to make them look even more unruly, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. brow gel and just gel all these hairs right up. Such a rebel. I have a fucking Despacito stuck in my head. My brows are looking really orange on camera, but they're not. It's the wear. I'm gonna go in and dust off some of this powder while also kind of dusting it over my contoured areas. So they're also set. I'm not going to slip away. And then going in with my favorite beauty product of 2017. You guys know, do you? Can you guys guess what it is? I bet you can. Pause this video and tell me. It's a quiz. Reserve your cabana. This is the shit. This is a bronzer by Wet n Wild. But it just is such a nice finishing powder. It gives us like Beautiful, healthy glow. Makes your skin just kinda look more like skin. Healthy and glowy and fan fucking tested. Alright, let's do some nice stuff. First I'm gonna go into first I'm gonna go into this shade here and I'm gonna throw that down as a base. Next, I'm gonna go into this shade, which is like a really light lavender, almost gray. And I'm just gonna use this as a transition shade because I'm gonna go in blue. Now using the same brush, I'm gonna go into this beautiful teal light color, but I'm gonna pick up like the tiniest bit. Oh my God, that was like nothing. really lightly, I'm gonna diffuse that in the crease. And then grabbing a little bit more. It's a heck of a lot easier to get a nice blended out look if you add the product little by little, instead of trying to slap on 10 piles of eyeshadow and then blend it. Oh, and in case you're wondering, this badass brush is the NYX number 16. Just going in again, a little bit more product, blending it out in the crease. Just windshield wipering across my lid. And then I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. And I'm just really gonna pack it in the crease. Nice and heavy. And then back in with this fluffy guy. And just give those edges a little bit of a blend. And then I'm gonna cut the crease. This is my favorite brush for cutting creases. It's actually the Sugar Pro Lip Brush. I'm gonna look straight ahead in the mirror. And I'm gonna cut the crease just slightly above my natural crease. Because it's dramatic. And then I'm gonna go into this light shimmery blue. I'm gonna pack that on top. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty! So shiny. And then on an itty bitty brush, just going back in with that blue, the matte blue. I'm really gonna sharpen those lines. Still want it to be blended. 
For liner, I'm gonna use this LA Splash Glitter Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Marbe. Marbe. Okay, my high school self is screaming internally over this glitter liner. I know Emily feels me on the glitter liner. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Ellie Splash, good for you. Not to be that guru, but uh, if you want one of these, make sure you use my code MUA037. Hot diggity damn. We could go on with a pink one to tie it together with my hair. Let's do it. Let's just do it. This one's called Pink Sparkles. I don't know why. I'm gonna go in with that blue. And put a little bit down here. Let's do a little double wing. And then back in with pink sparkles. Then I'm gonna put some of my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk in my waterline. Kind of extend it into that little negative space area. I'm gonna put some of this pink sparkles in the inner corner. I'm gonna quickly pop over to this side and do this side and I'll be right back. Now that I have two mermaid eyes, I'm gonna put on some of my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. And I'm gonna let that mascara dry a little bit. It does take a second. While it's drying, I'm going to apply some of this Ciate Moon Dust Highlight. It's so beautiful. And I'm going to apply it with my Anastasia A23 brush. Look at that. It's so pretty. And pink. It matches my hair perfect. For my nose highlight, I'm going to use the Ciate Highlighter in Starburst. These highlighters are rising to the top of my favorite highlighters list. They're so soft and lovely. I don't know if you guys are ready for these lashes. These lashes are from Bold Face and I can't get over these lashes. They're vegan and cruelty free. Packaging is to die for. These are in the style of Bold Face Forward. Look at how fluffy they are. Can you even? Do I not have any fucking lash glue? Shit. God! I found this in my purse. I love House of Lashes glue, but I find the black ones so hard to use. I always get black all over my fucking eyelids, so wish me luck. Oh, mom, I love you. These eyelashes are fucking huge. And they don't really want to stick. They're so extra. My mommy called and I let that lash glue get a little bit too dry. You know, for being so fucking huge, these lashes feel like nothing. They're so light and the band is so thin. Despacito. Can you guys please remind me to order some lash glue? Because I don't like this glue. The only way I'm gonna use black eyelash glue on purpose is if I have a black smoky eye happening. But this is not a black smoky eye, is it? That one went on a little bit better. All right, let's freckle it up. I'm gonna use this little baby brush. This is a Furless Pro 6E, and I'm just gonna alternate between these two browns. Freckle. 
for blush, I'm gonna use the Dusty Rose Blush by NYX. And I'm gonna use my cute as fuck Lisa Frank brush by Glamour Dolls Makeup. And yeah, I think pink. This is 024 Lip Pencil by Bite. My lips are fucking dry. Death gross. Let me just... On a little bit of lip balm. This is the Lip Love Lip Balm by Urban Decay. It's my favorite. Lip liner and lip balm. It's like my go-to lip combo. I'm also gonna put some of this NYX Macaron lipstick. What shade is this? Rose. Just in the center. I'm gonna lock it in place with my Cap on D Lock It Makeup Setting Mist. Maybe it needs a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. I always do this and I regret it. The next step in the process. Well, my friends, it's been a hoot, but I must be going. Where you ask? probably to my couch because I'm an exciting, fun person. Thank you guys so much for watching and for sticking around even though I have been MIA. Wait till I'm back. I'm gonna do the craziest giveaway ever. Ever. Maybe not ever, but it'll be good. <laughs> I'll see you guys when I get back.